That was like a 20 minute MRAP before you have to get on a plane to Reno. Reno for a wedding for my friend Danny. Fun way to start the trip. We got in about 1 a.m., 4 a.m. New York time. We're not meeting up until about lunchtime with uh, my friend uh, for his wedding for like a little lunch. Um, so, I'm gonna find a CrossFit. CrossFit Lake Tahoe, six minutes away. I kind of forgot what car I rented. I'm pretty sure it was white, but. White, 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 white. It's a Toyota. There we go. So here, it's a press. Yep. Push press, dip and drive. Push yep. Press, push and jerk, I'm... dip, drive, dip. Nice. Five, to seven. Five, seven, nine. And let's go. Kidding about the air feeling thin up here. So, I said I was in uh, Reno. I'm not in Reno. I'm actually in Lake Tahoe uh, for my buddy Danny's wedding, who I've known my entire life. Today, we have a bunch of like, you know, boy bachelor party stuff to do. The hard thing is actually, I don't really know any of his friends because they're mostly from around here from when he moved here a few years ago. Gotta go make a lot of new friends which could be complicated. I'm typically a social butterfly and I have no problem making friends. But there's something very unique about my friend Danny. <laughs> That's what's unique. So nothing's wrong with your audio right now, guys. Um, this is just what it's like to be at a deaf wedding. Everything's communicated through sign language. Even the photographers and videographers were we deaf. <laughs> so everything was done and interpreted for us, the hearing. And since Danny couldn't hold a piece of paper and sign at the same time, he actually had to memorize his vows. Here's a little video of him practicing behind the scenes. Other than that, though, it was just an amazingly gorgeous, awesome wedding. That's me! That's me! That's me! I can't marry! Yeah! yeah.